joint multi-row program is uh, in support of future vertical lift for the U.S. Uh, military. Uh, 2035, I believe, is the initial uh, operational capability date. Mm -hmm. Army has designed a program where they back up to, uh, starting a couple of years ago, uh, doing the technology homework for future vertical lift. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were several contracts awarded for uh, trade studies in 2011 and then once those were completed, the Army conducted another competition for a technology demonstrator program. That's what we're currently working on, as well as Sikorsky, uh, Bell, and uh, Our solution Karen. is a coaxial compound helicopter. We refer to it as CCH configuration. It's basically uh, a coaxial main rotor that uh, Counter rotates so that there's no torque applied to the fuselage, therefore there is no uh, anti-torque required or a tail rotor, and that saves about 12% power. The second part of this uh, configuration is the uh, dual ducted fans. The aircraft has uh, a fan on each side, left and right, and those fans provide uh, at high speed all the propulsion. Uh, so the rotor is only uh, providing lift. And uh, those uh, fans are also used for directional control by uh, modulating the thrust uh, differentially between the left and right fans. The uh, other third feature of the configuration is the airframe lift. So when we're cruising at, uh, or dashing, if you will, at 230 knots, we're carrying half the lift of, the, of the, half the weight of the aircraft on the canard and the ducts. So the rotor is, uh, I would call it loafing, only carrying half the, uh, the weight of the aircraft and uh, is uh, only consuming about uh, 20, 25 percent of the power. The fans, on the other hand, are doing the, uh, the work of pushing it through the air, propelling it. During the next few years, we uh, will build a three-quarter scale technology demonstrator that uh, is uh, actually a fairly good-sized vehicle with a 42-foot rotor instead of a 56-foot rotor in the full-scale aircraft. It will also demonstrate 230 knots and we'll demonstrate the uh, other capabilities such as vibration and handling qualities and, and so Four on of this configuration. That are in the current competition, if you will, for the demonstrator. Two of them are proposing tilt rotors and two of them are proposing coaxial compounds. Now Sikorsky and Boeing are proposing a coaxial compound that is appearance-wise somewhat similar to this. Quite different when you get down to it technically. We have dual ducted fans. That configuration has a pusher propeller uh, at the back, single pusher propeller. They have a, we have a rear ramp, two side doors. They just have two sliding doors on each, like a, like a black car. Um, the other two competitors, Bell with a tilt rotor, and uh, uh, Karam with another tilt rotor, a more advanced design than the Bell design. Uh, oh, they have tilt rotors, and the Army, uh, you know, is looking at tilt rotors. But the only operator is the Marine Corps right now, uh, the V-22. And of course, with a tilt rotor, you have to ask yourself the question: Why don't you just buy V-22s? Gives you the same thing. So, well, I will, I will add that one of our focus areas is cost because we believe that cost is going to be a big question raised by the U.S. Congress and both the acquisition cost is going to be how does it compare to a Black Hawk and what is the ONS cost. Now, we believe our acquisition cost will be comparable to the Black Hawk and the ONS cost will be lower even though we're 
building a much more capable aircraft. 